Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, every time we celebrate the Eucharist, we celebrate the mystery of the Passion, Death, and Resurrection of Jesus. As we gather in this Holy Mass, let us unite our sufferings and pains with the sufferings and pains of Jesus so that we may also share in his glory. In this Holy Mass, let us offer our prayers for our brothers and sisters who are sick and for those who are experiencing different forms of sufferings. May God be our consolation, strength, healing, and glory, so that we may become less unworthy to celebrate this Holy Mass. Let us call to mind our sins 
and let us beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours, and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord was pleased to crush him in infirmity. If he gives his life as an offering for sin, he shall see his descendants in a long life, and the will of the Lord shall be accomplished through him. Because of his affliction, he shall see the light in fullness of days. Through his suffering, my servant shall justify many, and their guilt he shall bear. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. Lord, 
let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us, who have put our hope in you. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, since we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our confession. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but who, who has similarly been tested in every way, yet without sin. So let us confidently approach the throne of grace to receive mercy and to find grace for timely help. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came to Jesus and said to him, Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask of you. He replied, What do you wish me to do for you? They answered him, Grant that in your glory we may sit one at your right and the other at your left. Jesus said to them, You do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the cup that I drink or be baptized? with the baptism with which I am baptized? They said to him, We can. Jesus said to them, The cup that I drink, you will drink. And with the baptism with which I am baptized, you will be baptized. But to sit at my right and or at my left is not mine to give, but is for those for whom it has been prepared. When the ten heard this, they became indignant at James and John. Jesus summoned them and said to them, You know that those who are recognized as rulers over the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great ones make their authority over them felt. But it shall not be so among you. Rather, Whoever wishes to be great among you will be your servant. Whoever wishes to be first among you will be the slave of all. For the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, 
our gospel this Sunday begins with a request of the brothers James and John to Jesus. Isang pakiusap, isang hiling mula sa magkapatid na Santiago at Juan. At ano ang hiniling nila kay Jesus? Sabi nila kay Jesus, Grant that in your glory we may sit one at your right and the other at your left. What a bold request. Isang napakamapangahas na hiling. Maaari ba na sa iyong kaluwalhatian kami ang umupo sa iyong kaliwa at kanan? They are requesting for the top two positions when Jesus comes into His glory. But let us not be quick in judging James and John as ambitious and power-hungry. Because the truth is, not only James and John were ambitious and power-hungry, all the disciples of Jesus are. And why could we say that? Because when the other ten heard this, our gospel tells us that they became indignant at the brothers James and John. Nang marinig nung sampu yung hinihiling nung magkapatid, nagalit yung sampu sa magkapatid. Kung hindi sila interesado sa posisyon, bakit sila magagalit? Nagalit sila dahil gusto, rin, gusto rin nilang pumusisyon. Nagalit sila dahil gusto rin nila na umupo sa kaliwa at kanan ni Jesus. Kaya lang naunahan silang magsabi nung magkapatid. They all want the best seats in the kingdom of God. But Jesus tells them, you do not know what you are asking. Hindi nyo na unawaan kung ano yung hinihingi ninyo. The disciples want glory, but they do not understand that the glory of Jesus will come only after suffering and death. Yun ang hindi nila naintindihan. Gusto lamang nila yung luwalhati. Nakalimutan nila na kay Jesus ang luwalhati ay matatamo lamang pagkatapos ng pagpapakasakit at paghihirap. Na ang pagkabuhay ay matatamo lamang pagkatapos ng pagpapakasakit at kamatayan sa krus. Jesus is the suffering servant described in our first reading today by the prophet Isaiah, the servant of God who will be crushed in many ways, who will suffer, who will lay down his life in order to justify many. Jesus is the great high priest Described in our second reading today by the letter to the Hebrews, Jesus is the priest who offers a sacrifice. For that is the role of the priest. Ang tungkulin ng pari ay mag-alay. Pero kay Jesus, ang kanyang inaalay bilang pari ay hindi hayop katulad ng mga pari nila noon. Si Jesus bilang pari, ang iniaalay ay ang kanyang sarili. 
Jesus is the priest, but Jesus is also the offering being sacrificed. And by offering and sacrificing, by offering and by suffering, Jesus becomes the source of our salvation. Paanong nakapagliligtas si Jesus? Hindi dahil meron siyang mataas na posisyon, kundi dahil siya ay nag-aalay ng kanyang buhay. That is why Jesus asked James and John after expressing their request, Can you drink the cup that I will drink? Are you ready to be baptized with the baptism with which I will be baptized? Parang tinatanong ni Jesus sa kanila, Gusto niyo ba talagang makibahagi sa aking luwalhati? Kung gusto niyo, ninyo talagang makibahagi sa aking luwalhati, handa ba kayong harapin ang paghihirap? Handa ba kayong magtiis at magsakripisyo? Handa ba kayong yakapin ang krus? For suffering is necessary in order to share in Jesus' glory. Sino mang nais makibahagi sa kaluwalhatian ni Jesus, dapat handa rin makibahagi sa paghihirap sa pagsasakripisyo ni Jesus. Walang makakabahagi sa luwalhati ni Jesus nang sino shortcut yung pagdurusa at paghihirap. Jesus is teaching His disciples and all of us that there could be no glory without suffering. There could be no success without hard work. There could be no gain without pain. That is a basic lesson in life. And that is very much reflected in the life of Jesus. The problem, my dear brothers and sisters, is that we want gain without pain. We want success, but we do not want hard work. We want glory, but we refuse to suffer. Gain without pain, success without hard work, and glory without suffering is the sure formula to corruption. Kapag gusto mong umasenso sa buhay, kapag gusto mong maging maginhawa ang iyong buhay, Kapag gusto mong yumaman, pero ang gusto mo ay instant asenso, instant yaman, instant na maginhawang buhay, na kotiyak kahit na pandaraya, pangungurakot, panglalamang sa kapwa, gagawin kung yan ang daan sa instant yaman at ginhawa sa buhay. Kung gusto mong yumaman, umasenso, magkaroon ng maginhawang buhay, pagsikapan mo. Magtrabaho ng mabuti. Gawin kung ano ang tama at mabuti para mata mo ang pinapangarap mo sa buhay. Sa mga estudyante na gustong makapasa sa eskwela, gustong makakuha ng mataas na grade, at gusto makapasa, makakuha ng mataas na grade ng hindi nahihirapan. Instant na pasa, instant na mataas na grade. 
Kaya kahit na mandaya, mangopia, mag-submit ng paper na dinownload lang sa internet, gagawin dahil ayaw mahirapan. Kung gusto mong magkaroon ng mataas na grade at makapasa, mag-aral ng mabuti, pagsikapan. Ito ang daan para makuha ang ninanais. Sa panahong ito ng pandemya, lahat naman tayo gusto nating matapos na ang paghihirap nating lahat. Pero gusto natin instant. Yun bang sana bukas, wala ng COVID-19, ayaw natin yung mahihirapan pa tayo para magkaroon ng solusyon ang ating problema. Pero kung gusto nating masolusyonan ang pandemic na ito, kailangan ng ating cooperation. Ayaw nating ma-inconvenience ng face mask, ng face shield, hindi kasi maganda ang pakiramdam. Ayaw nating pumila sa pagpababakuna, sayang lang oras ko dyan. Gusto natin instant, instant na mga solusyon, instant na mga gamot, na hindi naman napapatunayan na nakapagpapagaling, ayaw nating mahirapan. Sa panahon natin ngayon na naghahanda tayo sa eleksyon, marami rin ang mga politiko na katulad ni Santiago at Juan sinasabi sa atin, pwede bang makiusap? Pwede bang ilukluk mo kami sa posisyon, sa mataas na posisyon? Pero minsan may mga kandidato na ang gusto ay instant na manalo. Hindi na mahihirapan, hindi na magpapakita ng kanilang kakayahan, instant na lamang. Kung gustong maboto ng tao, ipakita ang plataporma, ang nagawa, ang credentials, ang credibility. At ang mga butante naman, gusto rin yung mga instant lamang. Ayaw pag-aralang mabuti ang mga nagnanais na ilukluk sa mga pwesto. My dear brothers and sisters, today Jesus teaches us that there can never be a shortcut to success and glory. If you want success in life, if you want glory, If you want the best seats in the kingdom, then be willing to drink the cup of suffering. For it is only in sharing in the sufferings of Jesus could we share in His glory. Success without pain and suffering is superficial and Illegal at times. But success that is the fruit of pain, of tears, of hard work, of suffering, is the success that gives us true and lasting joy. Yung tagumpay na pinaghirapan, masarap sa pakiramdam. Yung tagumpay na pinaghirapan, talagang pahahalagahan. Pero yung tagumpay na nakuha mo sa instant na paraan, yung tagumpay na nakuha sa pandaraya, mawawala din agad, hindi magtatagal. At hindi natin iingatan at pahahalagahan dahil hindi naman natin pinaghirapan. Success through suffering is true glory. But my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus also tells us that if suffering is the way to glory, 
than if you are suffering now. If you are in tears now, if you are experiencing pain now, do not lose hope. Carry on, for surely you are at the threshold of sharing in Jesus' glory. Please stand. Let us all together profess our faith. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of, of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, Christ His only Son, Son, our Lord, Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born, born of the Virgin, Virgin Mary, Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Christ is the supreme high priest interceding for us. He understands our weakness, for he is also the suffering servant, taking our faults on him. His work and example inspire us to pray with humble devotion. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, the pastor and the teacher of God's people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For a recovery of the values of duty, integrity, and service among government workers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For men and women who work in restaurants, hotels, and the entertainment industry, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For gratitude to our Eucharistic Lord, who gives his life as a ransom for many, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For the repose of the souls of the faithful departed, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who requested our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Lord God, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. We bring our hopes and desires before you in union with the atoning work of your Son, the eternal priest, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, 
I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for a while for some announcements. Unang-una po ay nais kong magpasalamat sa inyong lahat sa pagdalo sa ating banal na misa ngayong umagang ito at sa pagpunta dito sa Manila Cathedral. Pinapasalamatan din po natin ang ating mga kapatid na matyagang nagsimba na nakatayo sa labas. Salamat po sa inyong presensya at sa inyong uh, pakikipagdiwang sa umagang ito. We thank you for your cooperation sa ating mga protocols na ipinatutupad para po sa kaligtasan nating lahat. Pinasasalamatan din po natin ang ating mga Manila Cathedral staff and servants na naglilingkod sa banal na misang ito. We also wish to thank our brothers and sisters who are joining the live streaming of this Mass. We thank you for continuously supporting the Manila Cathedral and our mission. We thank the different social media platforms that are sharing this Mass so that we may be able to reach many of our brothers and sisters who could not go to church, who could not come to the church today. Maraming salamat po sa inyo at sa inyong patuloy na suporta. We also wish to thank the officers and members of the Philippine Society of Anesthesiology who are joining our Mass today as they celebrate Anesthesia Week this week. No, maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikibahagi sa ating pagdiriwa ngayong umagang ito at panalangin po natin na magkaroon kayo ng makabuluhang pagdiriwang. No, hindi ko po alam kung ano ibig sabihin ng Anesthesia Week. No, parang pampamanhid yung anesthesia eh. Pero sana bilang mga naglilingkod, healthcare workers, kayo po ay patuloy na magbigay ng uh, paglilingkod, no? maging instrumento ng Panginoon sa pagpapagaling sa ating mga kapatid, lalong-lalo na po sa mga may sakit. We continue to invite you to visit the Blessed Souls Chapel of the Manila Cathedral 
as we prepare for All Souls Day on November 2, the chapel, the second chapel at your right is our Blessed Souls Chapel where you could light candles for your beloved uh, departed brothers and sisters and to offer masses for them. Ang Blessed Souls Chapel po ng Manila Cathedral ay bukas araw-araw para sa pag-aalay ng panalangin at misa para sa ating mga yumaong kapatid. Beginning next Sunday, October 24, we will once again bless cremated remains after each Mass, after the 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock in the morning Masses and after the 6 o'clock in the evening Masses. Lalong-lalo na po yung mga kapatid natin na pumanaw nitong nakalipas na taon at hindi pa nabibindisyonan o namimisahan, uh, maaari nyo pong dalhin ang kanilang mga labi dito sa Manila Cathedral para po ating basbasan at alaya ng panalangin uh, sa mga linggo simula sa susunod na linggo, October 24, October 31, November 7, and November 14. No, four Sundays that you could bring your the remains of your beloved dead for prayers and blessings here at the Manila Cathedral. Finally, you may have heard about the Synod on Synodality. Baka nakikita nyo na po sa uh, social media, sa Facebook pages ng mga simbahan, yung sinimulan ni Pope Francis na Synod on Synodality. The Synod is a regular gathering of bishops with priests and lay people that is the venue of the Pope to consult bishops, priests, and lay people about the Church. Regular po yung ginagawa ng Santo Papa. At sa 2023, ang nais ng Santo Papa na pag-usapan sa Synod of Bishops in October of 2023 is about synodality itself. The word synodality means walking together. Nais ng Santo Papa na makita kung paanong ang simbahan, tayong lahat, ay makakapaglakbay ng sama-sama. But what is unique about the Synod of Bishops on Synodality that will be held in October of 2023 is that the Pope wants to make consultations as wide as possible. Kaya ngayon pa lang sinisimula na ang consultation para sa Synod sa pagtitipo na ito. Magsisimula po ito sa diocesan level. Ngayong araw na ito, sa buong mundo ay bubuksan ang proseso ng consultation sa Synod sa Synod of Syn on Synodality sa lahat ng dioceses, local churches sa buong mundo. Yun po yung first level ng consultation. After that first level, it will be raised to the level of each country, the national level. Sa atin po, sa level ng Catholic Bishops of the Philippines. And after the national level, there will be a regional level. Bawat continent uh, magkakaroon din ng pagtitipon, pag-uusap-usap bilang bahagi ng consultation. At lahat ng ito dadalhin sa Synod Hall sa October 2023. Kaya po sa araw na ito dito sa Archdiocese of Manila, kaisa ng lahat ng diocese sa buong mundo ay sisimulan sa pamamagitan ng isang misa na pamumunuan ng ating arsobispo si Cardinal Jose Advincula ang simula ng Archdiocesan Synodal Journey. Ang consultation po ay simple lamang ito'y kwentuhan. Marahil marami po sa inyo sa mga susunod na buwan ay tatanungin, aanyayahan para sa mga simpleng kwentuhan tungkol sa karanasan natin sa simbahan, 
ano yung mga ipinagpapasalamat natin, ano yung mga sana natin. No? Salamat at sana mga ninanais natin para sa ating inang simbahan. Kaya ang proseso pong ito ng consultation ay proseso ng pakikinig. Kaya dito po sa Archdiocese of Manila, tinatawag natin itong Audiam sa Arkam. Yung Audiam po ang motto ni Cardinal Advincula, ibig sabihin to listen, makinig. Sa Arkam, yung pong Arkam ay abbreviation ng Roman Catholic Archbishop of Manila. Audiam sa Arkam, ibig sabihin makikinig tayo sa isa't isa dito sa Archdiocese of Manila tungkol sa ating pananaw kung paano ang simbahan natin ay makapaglalakbay ng sama-sama. Walang naiiwan, walang nauuna, sama-samang naglalakbay. Kasama po sa consultation, hindi lamang yung mga taong simbahan na aabutin din po natin yung mga umalis na sa simbahan, yung mga nasa iba't ibang marginalized groups, yung mga kapatid natin na uh, sa iba't ibang sektor ng lipunan, kasama na po dyan ang marginalized, ang mga dukha nating kapatid, ang mga laborers, social media influencers, LGBTQ plus community, mga kabataan, mga babae, mga matatanda, no, lahat po ay aabutin natin para marinig natin ang lahat. At lahat ng ito ang ating contribution sa Synod of Bishops na gagawin sa October 2023. Pinapaalam po namin sa inyo ito dahil inaasahan namin ng inyong pakikisa sa prosesong ating gagawin. At ang inyong panalangin na nawa tunay na makapakinig tayo sa bawat isa upang ang ating mapakinggan ay makatulong sa ating sama-samang paglalakbay. Synod on Synodality na sinisimula natin sa araw na ito. Naway pagpalain po ng Panginoon ang bagong linggong ito at nawa ay tulungan niya tayo na harapin ang mga tiisin, sakripisyo sa buhay upang ito ay maging daan sa ating pakikibahagi sa kalwalhatian ni Jesus. Let us now stand for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the God of all consolation order your days in His peace and grant you the gifts of His blessings now and forever. Amen. May He free you always from every distress and confirm your hearts in His love now and forever. Amen. So that on this life's journey, you may be effective in good works, rich in the gifts of hope, faith, and charity, and come happily to eternal life now and forever. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Thank you.